more about more from the Grammy from the Grammys. Madonna, she was also at the Grammys to introduce Sam Smith and Ken Petras. She praised creative rebels who are pushing boundaries. However, coverage in some parts of the media concentrated less on what Madonna had to say and more on how she looked. Madonna responded to this backlash with an Instagram post saying, quote, once again, I'm caught in the glare of ageism and misogyny that permeates the world we live in, a world that refuses to celebrate women past the age of 45 and feels the need to punish her if she continues to be strong-willed, hardworking, and adventurous, end quote. Madonna fights back after all the crap she got after the Grammys and her unrecognizable look, which is why she got all the crap after the Grammys. But she's freaking Madonna! What are we all talking about? What do you think? I mean, first of all, it's amazing that a woman in the music industry, for as long as she has been in, they are still just ravaging her. Like, they're just, like, eating her alive. Like, she's creating such buzz, bu bu buzz that they are still talking about her. I remember when I was eight, watching her like on solid gold wow, and doing like borderline or one of those songs. Mm -hmm. So here she is like X amount of years later. Four, She's 30, 60 something. She is sick and they are still talking about her. And I'm not a, I mean, I don't know how, how do you feel about the face? It's, it, you know, it's again, I, it's really hard. I like a little Botox. Listen, up here. I, don't <laughs> ask me to frown. You know how much Botox I have? And I just like, girl, I like Gladys, I love you. Happy birthday. Let's start with yeah. fillers next. No, I don't know about um, that. But... So I'm all about Botox yeah. and, 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 you know, and whatever makes you happy, honey, if you need something, if, if whatever it is, you should be allowed to do it. Yeah. But I think that something happens after your fourth or fifth surgery where it becomes an addiction because you can't get to where you think you want yeah. to look like i'm scared to go past botox on the forehead like because i have like ravines like really deep mm -hmm. creases and he worked it and i was like wow that's awesome but to start going down here and to start like the lip thing not necessary but all those things are injectables that go away alex this but, is a surgery you so can't change so that that madonna oh that's surgery well that I mean, that's a that's a combination right. of sorts okay yeah. there's fillers and there's botox but there's a whole lot more there's a lot than going that. on there that's yeah. not just it can i just tell you like a side note her daughter is so stunning. Lourdes is beautiful. Oh my God. You know why? Because she's Cuban. Uh, she, well, it's Carlos Leon. I'm not Leon. Cuban, it's but I just have to say that because my Carlos wife. Leon, when Carlos Leon is Cuban, mm -hmm. Carlos Leon me. <laughs> Carlos <laughs> Leon is, me. That man oh, is gorgeous. That girl is super But she's pretty. so beautiful. And she looks just like and her dog. She like looks, both of them. Yeah, yeah, you yeah. can see the little parts that she does yeah, look like both God, of them. I wonder if she's going to be crazy too. I hope so. She seems very chill. Yeah, yeah, maybe yeah. she stays chill. Listen, at the end of the day, <laughs> Madonna, you do you, okay? Yeah. And you have, and you're freaking Madonna. You can tell people to go f themselves, and they'll be gladly to be like, Madonna told me to f myself. I'm glad. Like, I think it's amazing that they're still talking about her. Like, talking. talking. You continue to stay relevant, Madonna. Yeah. Okay, just like Alex said. So. Yeah. You know, fight back yeah. again. You're Madonna. It doesn't yeah. matter. She was one of my first crushes, right. so it hurts me. No one's me. talking about Cindy Lauper. They're all talking about Madonna. <laughs> Cindy right? Lauper. Cindy Lauper's amazing. She is so freaking talented, and she she wrote Kinky Boots on Broadway. Like mm -hmm. she she's super super talented. But super no one's talented. talking about her. And she did a commercial for some, <laughs> some topical thing. Oh, for, for eczema. Yeah. Oh, okay. I mean, that's she, Cindy Lauper. <laughs> that's, eczema. Yeah. That's what we know for Cindy Lauper is eczema. <laughs> well, mind you, Madonna's freaking like, running shit at the Grammys. Like running going. shit. Yeah, exactly. All right. I guess but, you're right. No, yeah. you, you made your point. <laughs> so, did you enjoy the show? I know you did. So, make sure to click subscribe so you won't miss any of the events, news, or interviews right here on the Faye What Show. Ring the bell at the bottom of the screen. Right there. So you'll be alerted every time we're live. You can also click on the Happening Out Television Network logo so you can see all of the shows on the most diverse LGBTQ plus media network. Find out just what we're doing to bring the L and the G together right here on the Faye What Show. Get the week started with me.